guys. <laughs> uh, it's Lauren. How are you guys doing today? Um, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I figured today would be a good day to start up. Um, to be honest, I have to do kind of a bit of a shout out to Braxton and Cody since they're the ones that gave me the idea to do the Dreams video anyways and just do some streaming stuff um, based off of the games that have already been made by some players. Uh, this is the game, by the way, I mentioned in previous videos in the past, um, mostly like the VR art videos I was doing. Um, I've been wanting to do art and Dreams uh, for a while, um, but I'm still not super familiar with how it works, and I'm still trying to learn how to do all the mechanics and draw and either make my own game or at least just make a nice beautiful scene that you can walk around. Um, but I'm going to keep that kind of a surprise for later on what I have any ideas for. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Um, me playing the cute little fucking triangle thing. But um, yeah, any further ado, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and jump on in. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to start up is PlayStation Home. Um, I was actually really excited when I saw this the other day. Uh, I haven't actually had a chance to play it, so I figured this would be a fun little first impression. Um, if anyone who hadn't had PS3 back in the day and played PlayStation Home, uh, pretty much it's just like a different version of Sims with a bunch of mini games and little things you can buy within the game. So it's like a virtual world for, like, have your virtual avatars to live in the space, of course, and still play with it. So a lot of people really enjoyed doing that, and I'm actually surprised they got rid of it um, when it came to PS4. Let's see how this looks and what they have so far. Oh wow. Let's see, take over this guy. So it looks like they just created the home space itself. Oh, and they're starting to kind of map it out slowly. Water scene and the beaches. That's pretty cool. They got this pretty much like down pack and repli replica wise. Holy shit. I'm surprised what they can do in this game. Oh! I can move it? Wait, I'm confused. How do I sit in it? <laughs> uh, maybe it just hasn't given the actual notes in it yet of like what you can actually do. Oh! Oh, so you can actually reorganize shit. That's pretty cool. That's a cool little mechanic. Damn, okay. And you can make your character sit. That's pretty cool. Alright. Oh, you can exit it. Oh, holy shit! Alright, there's a lot more than I thought. Oh, by the way, this is my little imp. This is what they call it. Little uh, floaty thing going on around here. Um, wow. Okay, they actually got this pretty down pack too. Holy shit. And they got music playing when you walk in this area. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys know, you're kind of like a puppeteer and you take control of these guys. Whenever you move the controllers around, you can actually move the characters around. Uh, at least in most of them, unless they restrict the game motion-wise. Um, oh my god. There's a lot of nostalgia going on. It hasn't been that long, really, but it's like a... It's just weird to see it recreated. Oh yeah, okay. Oh okay, I can enter this. Well shit. Man, they put a lot of work into this. There's a lot more than I thought. Early work in progress, follow the updates. Thank you. Wow. I kind of wish I had like some music or some type of atmosphere going on in here too, but this is still pretty amazing. One bowling ball, still working on it. That is crazy. Alright, well, let's try to see if we can move on to the other one. I like this one. Alright, so this one isn't much of um, a game to play, but it's mostly just to see what artists can do within this platform. And I'm already liking that. It. It's kind of like an interesting cinematic view. So this is a, a art gallery, pretty much, of what they did, but they did like animations to show each pe people's work that they made in the game. This is the kind of stuff that I want to try to start doing more of. Oh, that's cool. Let's 
sculpture. There's so many like small inter uh, inter uh, Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> you guys see the skull in the background too? Really well made landscapes. I feel like these could be playable too if they made a game like character in it. That was really awesome. Arbalus. New game. They even actually level select. Green Grass Grove. What? Okay, this is literally just <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. But in a fucking ball format. This is pretty cool. Oh my god. Speaking of which, there is a... Oh, you can bounce too. Same sound effects as Sonic. Um, I will be actually showing a Sonic the Hedgehog game that somebody made. Because it is hilarious and awesome. Um, it actually looks like they use the same map. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh uh, no. It's really funny where people take their inspiration from. And... I think this is a really cool concept to be like playing a marble game but with Sonic the Hedgehog theme. I wonder if they're going to change the levels at all if it's all going to be Sonic themed. Okay, I see now. Can I see? Ah! Oh my god, I'm horrible at this. There we go. Where am I? There we go, got it. Okay. Oh my gosh. The stuff that people come up with is pretty freaking awesome. I hope at some point I make some like created game kind of stuff. Oh crap. Uh, but I don't know for sure <laughs> how well I would do. Whoa, whoa. I'm not a game designer, I'm an illustrator, so that's the that's gonna be the hard part. Gosh, Let's see. Like that how they actually have like multiple routes you could go. Oh that's cool. How the hell do I get over there? Alright. Another save point. They even got like the mechanic the same pretty much how that spins around. That's pretty awesome. Oh, nope. I tried. Woo! Woo! Alright. Oh god! Oh god! Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna skip some of the coins. I'm not gonna try to get them all. Probably should get that checkpoint though. Um. Is there a way for me to get up there? There must be. Ooh. Oh, so it costs coins to get coins? Or it costs, blah, blah, blah. costs coins to get treasure chest. Oh, God. You guys see that? Spikes. Oh, no! Oh, God. Okay. Good thing, at least like in the Sonic games, at least you don't lose all your tokens or coins. Uh, I should say it rings. When you die. Um... Oh my gosh. I don't know how big this game, this map is, but if this is just one level and they complete it, then I'm going to switch over to the next one. Uh, just because I want to show all the different stuff that's come up here. They did a couple updates recently. So, all this, oh, okay, so I can make it all the way back there. So that must be the end. Um, so a lot of these games are new and I have not seen them. Uh, when I first played them, the uh, early access kind of started, it was, um, there wasn't as many things to see or play because people haven't had much much time to really play with it except for the beta players so pretty excited to see what else is out there Whoop. okay oh my gosh I barely landed on that one okay 
It is interesting to see. It seems like because this um, the engine that they have running all this stuff, you know, it's kind of like looks fuzzy and if you get really up close like this, all painterly, which I really like. Um, but it is crazy that they can make this refined and more detailed too. Like this stuff all seems kind of like the same pattern, but even then, the fact that you can create so much with it is so amazing. I require glow so I can use it. Okay. So is that actually the ending? Is that actually the... Ooh, last part of the platform. That's kind of cool. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right, see what happens. All right, this map just keeps on getting bigger. I wasn't expecting all these hidden doors and stuff like that. It's doing a great job with like the friggin' sliding animation stuff too. Do I need the glow for the dark room? Ah. Oh, okay, I beat it. Okay, so besides playing on, I'm actually gonna leave the rest to whoever else wants to play further. Um, I'm gonna come back to this later, but uh, that was a fun little taste of that. Definitely gonna give a thumbs up to this one. Alright, I don't know about you guys, but I love dogs, so let's see what kind of game this is. Didn't really read the description, it might not even be a game. Welcome to Dogs Run. Step into the portal and start the level to visit Susie's for an upgrade. Oh my god, look at this character model. I can still control them. That's hilarious. Great animation, too. Why do I have... Why... Uh, do I have fucking lights in my eyes? Cause look at that. Wherever I look, it's just a... <laughs> that's hilarious. So that's the exit. Looks like more coins are kind of too... collected. Interesting what people put in the game. Okay, so R2 is a run. We're open. This is sweet. So barking is square. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is the upgrades that a dog gives? Is it gonna come like a meta? Hybrid robot dog. Oh, double dash. So I need to collect coins to buy stuff. That's crazy that they even got like an in-game like store. All right, that's pretty awesome. Okay. Whoop. That's hilarious. Really good environment too. I like the space that they have working out. Like small little floating map. Edge of the world. The crazy fact like fact of the matter is with this game is that everything's made with in-game. And it just throw oh god, okay. And it just throws me off because you literally just have limitless games you can play anytime. And people can constantly update them whenever they can and you get to play them. I'm in the right spot. Oh. Uh, what? How did I get here? That was a little confusing. Oh my gosh. So, also, the other thing some of you guys might not know... Oh, oh, oh god. Is that, um... In these games that are made... There's uh, a lot of assets that can be used by either from Media Molecule that's made this, or um, people who's made them over time just because they want it for their game or whatever else. Oh god, was my head just stuck in that? Oh my god. 
Um, and so this stuff might be either already been made for people and like they're just kind of making it for their own game as they just want the concept or they actually made the dog itself and everything too. You never know. Boom. <laughs> uh, okay, so I might be able to get up there if I jump up correctly. They even have, um, so, I don't know if you guys know this either, when you're running, the controller actually vibrates. So apparently you can actually set it, whatever the, the knowledge, as they call it, for the characters that you make, oh god, oh god, um, that they can actually interact with the controller, which is actually pretty awesome. Let's see. Oh, damn! I decided to just put this fancy car in here for whatever apparent reason. Huh. Oh, God. I wonder how long it took him to make this game. This one, I don't know if there's necessarily like, you know, an actual level winning basis. It seems like it's kind of, you just kind of teleport, collect coins, and see what it goes to. And it just kind of depends on what world you go to if you collect all the coins. Um, so I might not sit here too long, but I just want to kind of look around. Oh god. Oh no. Oh my god, dude. This is just mind blowing, to be honest. Did I make it back to Susie's? Is this Susie's? Oh, and I got a bone. Okay, so that is kind of the completion of a level. I see. Is there a portal that opens up? Yep. Alright, well... Before I go... This is a big map that they made. I'm gonna call that the end of this one. Same thing if you guys wanna try out this game. Actually didn't get a chance to see who made it. Let's see. Sundown Valley by Angeli. Is that right? Oh, I can't really read that from here. Full credits. <laughs> okay. Well, on to the next one. Alright, those of you who don't know my driving skills, um, you're about to see how good they are today. Which probably is pretty mediocre at best. Also, sorry if I sound a little drained. I didn't sleep very well last night. Oh god, okay. R2 is accelerate, L2 is break. L1, R2 is shift up and down. Oh, so they actually have like manual. Handbrake is square, X is boost. Top and down is camera views, front lights, interior lights. That's kind of cool, they even have those little effects. Train change transmission. Clutch hide off. Oh god. Oh, you can actually look inside the car too. Where's my legs? There's a garage. And you get points and money for drifting? Oh, that's kind of cool. So this seems pretty simplistic in design. They can't wait until they start to add more Maps, okay, so if you hit the wall, it stops. Oh god! And you lose the, the points. Let's see what other views they have. Oh god! I wish they showed the imp in the car. There's, um... Oh. You can actually, like, some games actually show the imp in the, in the game. Oh god. Okay, so interior lights. I like how the music is louder when you're in the car. That's pretty cool. Well, all right. So that's all this one has. Let's go on to the next one. That's like parallel park. That's um parallel parking skills to the max. That's pretty cool. I can't like dislike any of these because there's just all of them are just pretty different and unique to them. 
What is this? Is this like pod racing or whatever, like um, in fucking Star Wars? Working progress, full racing game completed. All right. All right. Time to see my badass future skills. But let's just take a moment before I start. Like, look at this. So you saw all the other games are kind of like fuzzy looking. And this one's kind of a little bit with some of the environmental stuff. Just based off what the engine can do. But this car itself is pretty realistic and slick looking. Or hovercraft, I should say. Oh my god, the camera angle's a little odd. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, what's going on? I can drive up on any surface? Almost. Oh my god, this is so cool. So... The sound effects are nice. Oh my god, you go so fast! Holy shit. Alright. Let's see if I can get some speed going. And then... When I get to a ridge... Let me just hit it. it looks like there is actually a max cap. Well, that, it's not, that's not how I wanted that to happen. Yep. So you can fly out of the game. <laughs> oh. Why didn't I see this earlier? Oh, this slows you down so much. <laughs> Brake slash drift. Oh. This will even have headlights. Well, that one's pretty cool, too. I definitely want to see more though, where it starts to lead on to. And you guys want to like comment and see some other stuff or anything particular? Oh my god, they made Floppy Bird. <laughs> All right, let's play this. This game used to piss me off when I was when I had this on smartphone. All right, grab to begin. Oh well. I already lost. Let's uh, let's uh, let's re let's retry that. Okay. See, look at this though. You can oh, you can recreate the. Oh, they need like a better reset though. I think for this. Um. The fact that you can make these. Oh, it's even randomized. In the beginning. What? What? What even just happened? What even just happened? Um, one more time. Now they can make like 8-bit style. Nope. Nope. Alright. I already know I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm done. Not doing that one anymore. That was fun for a second. Just great that they can make styles of this in any way they can. It just blows my mind. Let's um... A night in Paris. Let's check out this. Oh wait. Does I turn music on or off? I can make it rain and not rain. That's kind of cool. Can I move around? Can I change anything? I guess it's just scenic. They're just trying to recreate a feel of Paris, which is kind of cool. If you can't control the character, I still kind of wish you could at least scope it out a little bit. Okay. Cool. Interesting experience. The other thing about this game, by the way, is that I wish... Dexter's Laboratory? Yeah, I'm going to come back to that in a second. Is that, um... I kind of wish... Uh, this is still, like, they were supposed to put this in VR, but I don't know if they're actually going to. And I think it would just be one of those really, at least for the art part, like, the creative aspect, like, with the other VR games I've played that are art-wise, it makes it easier to actually, like, see it in three-dimensional space and move it around when you're in VR. Because when you're playing, when you're actually, like, building stuff in-game this way, it's hard because you have to play with, like, a 2D screen. And it's it's just I'm not used to it yet, but that's just me. Right, we're doing jump souls, whatever that is. Oh, all right. Jump souls. 
<laughs> oh my god. A game by Cobb. I like the intro. <laughs> Resurrection. Oh my god. So they did like a side scroller. Oh shit! Oh. I can tell I'm not good at. Shit! Shit. This is hard. That was close. Whoop. Shit! Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I forgot that I did that. How do I get my soul back? I'm just gonna die each time. Like, son of a bitch. No! No! That was so quick! What? Oh, fuck me. This game is pretty fucking gnarly. Ooh. Wait a second for you, son of a bitch. Ooh. Oh! My god! No, I forgot again. <laughs> oh god. Nope. I don't even know how I was gonna jump over that. And die. Oh, okay. No! Oh my god. No! Oh my god! Down. Up. Um. Oh, too fusing. I like the music a lot. The style of it's just really unique. Ooh. Okay. No! All the way back here. All the way back here, seriously. They should have a different respawn point. Oh no. I thought I saved myself. Oh, it just got me. Oh. I thought you guys were actually really good at this. Shit! Hmm, I'm just gonna think for a second. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. You guys see how twitchy my guy is? He's very twitchy. Got it. No! Fuck me! Oh god. Okay. Those of you guys who know me, I, uh, I'm probably gonna call this one quits. <laughs> Most of you call into uh, Braxton because I get frustrated in these games really quick. And as you see, I'm dying, and this game is meant to be hard by the looks of it. So... <laughs> one more attempt. Ah, uh, wouldn't wait long enough. All right, really cool game though. Do any of you guys have dreams? This isn't even like the full game right now. This is just because they actually have it's supposed to be a story mode or anything like that. But this is just early access. All right, Dexter's Lab. I like how they changed it to. Oh, it looks almost like Slab. Now. Yep, looks just like me. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of interesting. You see how stylistically this is so different compared to at least the, the character model versus a lot of the other things. They even got like the little creepy walk. 
mm. as they contemplate life. Go out. Oh, so you can leave. Hi, Mom. Wow. Okay. Uh, can I talk to her? I can't talk to her. She's just distracted. Oh, oh cre creepy. Don't look down at me. <laughs> I don't even remember if this is what the house actually looks like. They got this down pat, though. <laughs> do I actually get a chance to go to my room? I do! Okay. That's cool. Some really good, like, fans and artists that want to, like, recreate all this stuff. They must have just been, like, watching Dexter's lab to help recreate some of the room space and stuff, too. That's kind of weird. You guys hear that noise? I think it's, it's like his walking animation is still. Okay, so I can close that. Okay. Not much in the room. Oh, and he comes back down here. That's an interesting spawn point for that. I got the street down, too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is that the, that's the other guy's lab space, right? That's pretty cool. They did a really good job with this one. How long does this street go? Okay, that's as far as you can go. Alright. Well, that was interesting. I wish there was music. I like that they were able to recreate as much as they did there. This one. I think, I think this is the one I played before. I could be wrong. Na -na 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 -na. Right? Yeah. They actually did a pretty decent job with the character model. His mouth's a little creepy. They got the shoes and everything. They got his creepy Naruto run. This one's different than the one I played before. There's one I played before that was more or less like an actual recreation. Oh, what? Oh, that's cool. Sunny Valley, Rainy Hills, Vanden Park. We got all the levels there, like all these different levels are pretty cool. Splash. <laughs> Let's see. Is this supposed to be Sonic's talk? Oh god. Oh, oh, I fucked up. Okay. That should have speed boost. He looks so sad. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's kill you apparently. And that's a respawn point. It's actually funny, I wonder if these are the same those are the people that made that um the other game. You guys notice the music's the same? Cold breeze effect. My oh god, you look so dopey. Arms are just dead. What's up, big crab man? I feel like they might have used a lot of assets for this one. Oh.
No! Alright. Nifty, thrifty, cool. Hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far. Oh, the fuck. There will be bugs and glitches. Please enjoy the ride. Okay. Oh, alright. I like the costume for the basic dummy. Controls. There's other things we marked while I, with the way I count over them. So hit square to interact. Press an R3 to view objects. Hold L1 to zoom. Click this to view the menu or inventory. They even have a menu system. Oh shit! Alright. So that's more map and underscore items and keys. Okay. So get out of that. Ooh. Nice. the voice acting the guy going on the guy who made this the light just hanging down can I grab the key I got one key uh, key to 205 <laughs> oh no potato monster song of betrayal will set you free okay Hey, looks just like me. Ow. New new objective. Is there a way to change the camera? I didn't quite see that. No escape. <laughs> uh, hey, I shouldn't keep posting a board, but no one even uses it anymore. I'm tired of cleaning up your you mess you messes. Okay. Uh, either help me find the spare monitor room key, or at least buy the hotel. A fire axe dummy. Okay. Uh, I couldn't really read that writing, so I'm not sure what it said. To be honest, the writing on the bottom looks like it's supposed to be... Like, it's very kind of formal looking for a horror game. The camera's a little odd, too. It keeps jumping around. But I think they might have intentionally made it, so it fucks with you. Gotta use the toilet. Oh, of course. Fucking Braxton is an explosive diarrhea. Yeah, look at all that shit. They did that intentionally. Son of a bitch. Report on subject 31B. Fire Summers. Uh, day 32. Patient seems to be stable, asleep for now, but she's getting restless about a music box. We're currently cleaning uh, that thing so she can keep whining. Blech. So she can't keep whining about it, I'm guessing? Anyway, we are about now closer to, than ever to a new milestone. If we keep this up, um, we'll have this project locked up by the end of the week. I'll update you as we move ahead. Dr. Alfin. Dr. Warner. Alright. Who the fuck is this? That's, uh, okay. Dig in. Oh, you sons of bitches. I knew it was Braxton the whole time. <laughs> it's him walking around fucking me. I know it is. Sin. Uh, uh, oh, okay, so the person's gone now, which it looks like it was just me. Do I have a key to that? No, okay, so there's a keypad. Do I have some good... Alright. Nice. Graphic design is my passion. <laughs> Uh, Following up on a missing persons report, Mara Summers, age 29, was last seen three weeks ago at the newly opened Pierce Hotel. The owners of the hotel claim she left around 3.15pm on the 21st, but the police are still not ruling out the possibility of them being potential suspects. This is Samuel Applegate for ARC News. Thank you, Applegate. Jay's fun time riddle. Hey y'all. <laughs> Bet you're wondering uh, where the exit key is. Well, it's in the lockbox. Solve my riddle and find the items 
Silence is golden, but duct tape is silver. That's probably what it is. Uh, at least I know there's a song that's based off that, so it doesn't seem like it's very hard, real. Uh, let's check the following up. No. After close inspection of the Piers Hotel, everything seems to be in order. A few broken locks here and there, but nothing I have seen in the hotel like this before. And the only thing that concerns me is two locker rooms, 210 and 211. They're unwilling to let me in, and they're ha uh, in there, <clears throat> as there will, as there were still renovations happening. I have my doubts if I rest the message it's unfinished. Okay, all right. We've got an interesting atmosphere. They don't. They're doing a pretty good job with us. Oh. Okay. Seth is golden. Three animals were locked in a hotel. Oh my gosh, I'll breathe in my ear, man. Locked in a hotel. Took a break from escaping. The fish's means for survival were down the toilet. And the bear climbed a tree to see escape through out the window. Yeah, the camera's really is getting worse. Oh, alright, alright, alright. The door shrank a little bit. Can I help you? Uh, let's try. Oh, they don't have a zero. I just realized. What kind of what kind of number combination lock is this? What the fuck just happened? Can't see. Why is it doing this? Yeah, the camera's just getting worse. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh my god, I can't see. Past sins will let you in. Okay. Oh, hi. Yeah, get out of the way, punk. You wanna go? Wanna go? Yeah, you sit over there. You think about what you did. Were you there the whole time? You probably was. I probably walked right by. Me in real life, oblivious as fuck. Uh, uh, hmm. Well, just the sake of time. I'm gone. That one quits. Pretty cool, though. Pretty good concept. Camera's the only thing that's throwing me off. <clears throat> Makes it really hard to play. Alright, everybody. This is the last one. And I figured I was going to end it on Batman. As I talked. <laughs> um, thank you, guys. For joining me today. I know... This probably is a little bit different. I haven't really made any artwork in a while. And I was going to make something on here at some point. Uh, I don't know if I'll be as extravagant as some of the people that have made the games on here, but I hope you guys enjoyed what I showed you today. And I hope you guys get this game at some point, because it's pretty friggin' awesome that you get to play a bunch of different experiences and just try them out. Um, but anyways, on that note, hope you guys have a good day, and goodbye, adios, catch you later. <laughs>